Mm, shit. Yeah. Yeah, because all that shit you pushed to the right. That was as deep as it's ever been, huh? That was that was everything. Like you pushed to the right and then fuck. Uh, what is your symptoms? Why'd you come down here? Um, I have bad neck pain that has shot down to my shoulders. Um, may give me headaches in the front of my my head. And um, he's telling me it might have to do with also why I have ear problems and um, blockage in my ear on the right side. <laughs> and then middle of the back. And I'm starting to notice that my toe might even be going numb on the left, left side. side. So. Okay. And you've been suffering for four years, you said, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. so... Why four years later do you finally come in today? I'm curious, what drives you to come in today? Because I'm more in tune with my body and I'm tired of feeling like this. Yeah, what made you more in tune recently? Um, I stopped smoking weed. Good, and so you stopped uh, medicating yourself and right. you started allowing your brain to feel again. Yes. What has this pain made you become? Well, the pain, it's kind of like when you see people in pain and they get a little more grumpy. The pain, the pain doesn't allow me to feel like my true self. So, last thing. Uh, father died four years ago. Mm -hmm. We put this as part of his issue too. Tell us how that affects you. Um, again, it goes back to the self-medicating thing. Um, I didn't realize, like, like I would cry about like it talking to me. Even now, I'll get like a little teary-eyed mentioning it. And it's like you have like a pain or sadness in you that you don't know how to, that you don't know really is there. My mom, no one's talking to me. No one's, no one's helping me. So you get to a point where you, you medicate yourself differently, like smoking more. So this way, push down. That one? No. So okay. down isn't the way. Oh, that one? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so this one. <sighs> Or this Ooh, one, which one's worse? That, that is, that, that, That's the one. Yeah. Same or different from side to side? Same or different? That's weird. It feels sharper on the left side. <laughs> okay, so uh, come forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. I walk back until your butt touches. Yeah. Joseph has 21 millimeter right imbalance and 24 millimeter lower right shoulder. Here we have a left lower leg and massive constipation. Here we have an extreme neck reversal and an invert atlas. That thing is upside down. Here we have a forward body lean, poor posture because of antalgia and confirmation of that constipation. You slept without waking up last night, right? Yes. Gotcha. Um, didn't go to bed till later. Why? Because I guess I napped periodically throughout yeah, the Yeah, gotcha. So you were more tired than normal, right? Yes, yeah, still I was more tired. I gotcha. never take naps in the day. So the issue here was that he uh, didn't listen to me, but he sort of listened to me, but he, he took naps. And the naps caused him to throw off his circadian rhythm. Um, we addressed it, but I just wanted to throw that out there as an issue. Um, how it's about- Probably I would've went to sleep earlier, being so tired during the day. So. Exactly, now what about the car situation? When you sit in the car and you sit in the seat, we didn't get this in. Actually, like leaning back in, in the seat, and it's like, it started to bother my neck because you're like jostling with the car. So Fair I think enough. like staying either up upright or more or separate from the car will be better. But um, it, it's not as, I would say like recently, before I used to be able to sit with my seat a little straighter and recently I wasn't, like I couldn't sit, I couldn't, didn't know how she sat with her seat straight. But then when I put the seat straight up, it doesn't bother my. Not as much. Yeah, yeah it's not hard to maintain. He's talking about how the adjustment allows his body to change. Yeah, it's not hard But to the thing is you had issues when you laid back in mm -hmm. the car. Each time he tried to sleep, he had issues. And part of this is all good information because he's learning about his body. Yeah. Okay, so uh, tell us about the breathing. We'll go through that. Oh, still. Um, we yeah. didn't get that reaction from yesterday, so yeah. tell us how the breathing has improved. Um, I can breathe on my right nostril, and like I've had allergies for like quote unquote years, you know, and I just stopped taking the medicine because it made me so groggy and tired. And then um, I went to ENT specialist, he put the scope down my nose, he sprayed the stuff, said there's nothing wrong, but obviously if I can't breathe on my nose or I have like problems in my ear tube, then, then you know, something's wrong. And literally, like, I don't have the same congestion in my ear, and I can breathe off the right side of my face. So tell us also, we uh, I don't think we got this on camera, too, about how many different diets you've tried over the years. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell I'm, us all the different diets you've tried. Because it was kind of funny to listen to. I've been movie. vegan. I've been vegetarian. <laughs> I've I've done raw food. I've fasted 
Tell me about water diet. I love the water diet. Yeah, I fasted twenty seven like, days. Oh, we did a water diet. You're all proud of it too. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, it's, it's a mental. <laughs> it's way more mental than anything. Absolutely, but, it is. Absolutely yeah, is. but you, but even with me, stop smoking. Even with me, like, um, stop eating anything. You know, the mucus thing kind of going on. I would, I would have thought that, like, with me, stop smoking in general. Like, I would said, okay, maybe my science, science would, open would open up, and it, it only opens up when I go like to the beach. Which is a weird thing, but it hasn't. It doesn't stay consistently open like it has with this. And I was like, I can breathe out my nose again. So, yeah. so the whole idea is to allow your body to accept my adjustment, and this will accept it more. Oh shit! <laughs> Jackpot! Right, you like one of those games. <laughs> Already start to pop, guys. Mm. But excellent. Yeah. That was good, babe. Let's see. Mm. Good. Wow. Mm. I just want to go record these. You got one more spot. You can yeah, outside. Fuck. Oof. Was that good? Or was that was that good? How know. was it for you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What do you mean? I feel this is a conversation you guys have all the time, huh? Was that good, honey? <laughs> yeah, like, probably right now the flu is just I feel it in my air move. Like, uh, 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 uh. That's that's crazy. Isn't it funny he came in for neck pain? All he talks about his freaking ear. Yeah, no, it, his ear and his nose. I mean it's really been come, bothering him though for like But he didn't come in talking about ever. it. Ever. Yeah, because he that, didn't even I'm, think that was a thing. It's not chiropractic in your mind. Yeah, I'm I'm like I'm I'm it's not, not a thing. it's been such a problem that I'm like, okay. I'm not going my neck and my shoulders hurt so bad I'm not going in here for a you stationary tube thing. Yeah, I mean just, Oh shit. Looking at that this was, chart alone. That was that that's that was crazy. That was it? Does it feel different getting the position? It's way easier, right? Yeah, it's way easier standing. And so the reason I put this in, in front of you is because I want to show you that the adjustment brings you back to ground zero and the things you do either help or hurt you. So the last couple hours you've been hurting yourself. And so this will help maintain more. It's easier to breathe. Everything's easier. But the position's easier too, right? Yeah. Doesn't it feel more natural now? Yeah. Not you're not fighting as much? No. Go ahead and walk, please. Hands on the legs. So this could be like, you're gonna start calling Miguel like I call Rage Ben. <laughs> the tension I should be Ben. Ben. <laughs> hey, Ben. So I'm gonna adjust you in the chair now. Uh, feel that okay. Forehead. Yep. You create a lot of tension in your body just by having tight shoulders, so we pushed them down. So you felt a referral of symptoms into your. Let's go. Ooh, good. What do you think, dude? Was it cool? Yeah. Curtis gave me a high five after that one. He was like, "Oh, elated!" That guy totally, completely changed after that. Yeah, yeah, a whole different, whole different, whole different, smile, whole different smile, man. No, he said that he felt that. That I felt that, like, yeah. Yeah, but he really s switched. Yeah. Those other adjustments were good with me. Okay. Yeah, you were doing good, but we're going to try something mm -hmm. different. This sometimes helps relax the shoulders after I teach you the ape hands. Drop forward here. Ooh. Good, nice. My shoulder is not. I feel like this Can shoulder. Is, this shoulder is hanging down more than this one. That's that adjustment. Yeah, it's not, and it's not clicking as loudly anymore after that as well. Yeah. So. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, because all that shit you pushed to the right. That was as deep as it's ever been, huh? That yeah. was that was everything. Like you pushed the right, and then fuck. Mm. So I'm gonna push on your sinuses now. Mm -hmm. I want you to try to breathe through your sinuses, mm -hmm. breathe through your nose. Take your time. Take your time. So these are the frontal sinuses. See, he loves this. Doesn't hurt at all, does it? Oh no, it hurts. But yeah, breathe in your nose. 
Keep breathing your nose. Two more breaths. One more. You got one more, dude. This should hurt a little less. It does. One more. Good. What do you feel? Just uh, yeah. Feel my fingers on your forehead still? Yeah, the pressure, <laughs> but. Okay, we'll have to get the results on that a little bit. Definitely okay. a sense of like trying to like to open up a little. Yeah. So what I did is I'm putting, I'm pushing pressure on his uh, frontal sinuses, maxillary sinuses, and creating different um, orientations in there so he can get more air up into those sinuses. Yeah, that's what it felt like. I can able to. And so by getting air and up into different parts of the sinuses, you dry out the sinuses, creating more mm -hmm. void, which means you breathe, makes you breathe better. Yeah, that's why I feel like it feels like more air is coming there. Yeah. What is uh, this week meant to you? How about that? Let's start with that first. The relief of pain. Relief of pain? Yes. Gotcha. And the increase of oxygen. That's pretty yeah. much. Definitely. I would say. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So uh, what have you learned from a week here in the office? We'll just do that. So. Walk like you're lazy. Bad posture is actually good posture. And good posture is actually bad posture. Yeah. Well, that's what he thinks. And that's because society tells us that. But really... You know, we're teaching proper posture. Yes. And as I say, it's anatomical position. What we learn in the textbooks is what we need to do. Get your body back to that. Okay. Why do they show the picture, yet they don't tell you to stand like the picture? Which is weird. Because most doctors are stupid. Ah. And I'm smart. I knew that was something different about yes, you. Yes, exactly. Uh, I always say the thing that makes me different than other doctors, I'm, I observe nature better than most. No. I'm just an observer. And so I just go, you know, what makes it simple? I try to you know, go the, the closest distance between two points is a straight line, right? Mm -hmm. And so I just keep it simple. No, like complicated things. No, if you were full of bullshit, well, we wouldn't be here at all. Oh, really? Like, oh, yeah, Oh, yeah. I think you suck up bullshit good, don't you? No, 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 yeah, man. <laughs> man, all these other doctors, like, like Ray was talking about, he's going to USC, he's going to all these doctors, and there's like five people with probably a thousand degrees, you know, and they're both like, I don't know what's wrong with them. Exactly. <laughs> so, so, if you're not sleeping good, then you're not going to maintain good posture. So they go hand in hand. Yeah. I don't know if it's the sleep posture that you get or it's just the brain power you get from not having It's the brain power. If, I think if, it's the brain if, power. If you if you don't feel rested enough or if you're tired cuz like if I'm going wait going to bed at like 1 or 2 and I have to be here at 9 like that one day I just wasn't having it. It's was like yeah. just being here is just Anything else you want to share with them so after the end of one week no. we'll do another one at the end of two weeks see no, where we're at. No still good. That's the most important thing. Mm. Yeah. You are uh, fighting me on that left right side, dude. Oh. Oh. It looks like it was the most intense one. Yeah, oh. it was better than this morning, but that wasn't as good as last week on Wednesday. Yeah, no. It's sore. It's like tight right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. But I can feel the inflammation. That tells me that um, I think we just need to make sure we ice that more. Yeah. There's some inflammation in there. So in there. we should just go home and ice it. Well, so whatever. Like I mean, don't sacrifice walking for icing. So do your walks, do your posture. That's more important because I need to learn the biomechanics. But definitely icing kind of Yeah, day. that's what I was saying. These last couple of days, like it's been feeling like like sore and like a little like you know. Yeah, exactly. Change is good. Change yeah. is good, dude. And when you have change, that means you, good things can happen. Yeah. But change also hurts a little bit. Mm. Yeah. I was like a sneak attack. I wasn't expecting.